All right, let's go over to crude real quick. Let's see the action this morning. We just had a nice trade on crude to the upside. Let's see what we got here. You look at the price action. First of all, these are our two main charts, market profile and my larger nine Simrico right here. It's my trend chart. So we want to make sure we look at this trend chart each morning to get a bias of which way we're going to trade. Yesterday we did the same thing. So if you look, we've had uh, two transitions here this morning so far. Here's your first transition this morning. There was your right there, started the transition, and then we got below. Look how we got below the smaller MA, and we had right there we had uh, distance or space between the open versus close, and what that created was retracements. There was a cell retracement. I'll show you in a second. There's a cell retracement. Here's a cell retracement. Then what we got, so that there was your inflection point of that got it going. Then right here, here's your candle over 50%. 90% confirmed that we're starting an uptrend or counterweight back up. Oops. So that started to move down, and if you don't know how to trade the 9 cent, we did a video on this yesterday, how to do it. This started the way back up, 90% candle confirmed it, and we just had a long signal right here, beautiful long signal right here. Now notice right here what I'm going to show you, that wick that touched the shorter term MA, that was exactly where my arrow fired. This is exactly where my arrow fired. This is exactly where my arrow fired. This is exactly where my arrow fired. And you see this consistently off that smaller MA on a retracement when you get distance, when you get space away from it, look for a retracement up to it. Now let me show you how it works. So if I pull this over and let's look at these two charts, how they marry up together. Then you'll get a feel for how this works. So if I look on this last setup, if I look at that retest of 10, that's your arrow long, retest of 10. This is a great trade. It happened at 755. Remember, we're futures traders. We're not stock traders. Typically, we're done before the New York even opens up. You start around 730 Eastern Standard Time, latest 745. You typically can be done by 9 a.m. to 9.30 Eastern Standard Time on some of these markets. So I want to show you how this marries up. It did the exact same thing yesterday, the day before. Ever since we released the system, it's the same exact setup, how this marries up together. So this is my trend chart. Don't make this difficult. Very easy to see these setups. Here's my trend chart. It's my 9 Simrico. That's going to tell me the overall bias, what I'm going to look for. And then from the bias, I'm just going to trade off of my 5 and 3 sim arrows because that's going to show me my retracement levels. That's my trend chart. So the best way to do it, I'll give you a quick review, is I got three moving averages on here. The most optimal time to be in the market is when you're below all three here. Below all three is your most optimal time right there. That's the sweetest spot in the market you're going to get. You can't get any sweeter than that because you are below all three of my MAs, but you got distance or what you have is what you have what's called space. The open versus close, I'm sorry, has distance from my smaller MA. That's the sweetest sell spot you're going to get right there right when you close below this candle all the way down. So these retracement shorts are your best shorts you're going to get. One fire here too. It's your best you're going to get. Now what happened is, is that markets cannot go straight down or straight up or trading would be too easy. They got to correct. They got to have a motive wave and a corrective wave. Motive with trend, corrective against trend. 
So we had this uh, uh, scenario yesterday, and we made some nice ticks on my arrow long yesterday too. Same thing happened this morning. The best way to see it is this. We knew the wave was over when this candle, the open versus close, that's the body of the green candle. 50% of that candle straddled my smaller MA. The next one, 90% straddled it. 90% of the candle straddled above it. So you knew right there on this candle that we're looking for arrows long on a corrective wave. Right there. there that one right there. The 50% told us. The 90% confirmed it. There it is. Same way up here. 50% told us. 90% confirmed that started the downtrend to short. So those are your two and two big points in the market. Now, once you got above, we start moving up. Now check this out. This is where the arrow fired. Look where this arrow fired on the three cent. This is an easy trade to get into. That's a 17 live fill, got as high as 45. That's $270 potential per one contract on a nice, easy move up. Once that arrow fires, we'll let Market Delta confirm right below us. Market Delta is below us. So Market Delta is right here. At 756, at that level right here, look at Market Delta turn positive when the arrow fired. We're in positive market delta, I mean. We're in positive market delta. They're trying to mark the market up. Look at that. Positive market delta all the way up until we hit what? Look at that. Until we hit 45. And then it turned negative market delta. So what we want to do is we want to use market delta that got us in right there to confirm when the arrow comes up. So to make it simple, we know that here's your 50% candle. There's 90% straddling above. We're looking for retracements. Here we get separation away from my, it's not above all three. You don't need it on a corrective wave. Remember, corrective waves, you don't need it above all three. Right there, look at that space. Look at that space between the two. The smaller MA and the open versus close on the candle. Comes up. There's your wick comes down and touches 10. Now look at 10 over here. Look at your entry. How gorgeous is this? There it is. Every day on any given market, it works just like this. It is absolutely gorgeous. So once you get in and that candle closes and you are positive market delta, you can open the position up. Your stop loss, no matter what, is always two ticks below this swing low. If you if you trade chart trader or I don't know how you, you do your entries, but whatever, however you do it, it's always two ticks below the swing low. So if chart trader, you have an automatic 13 tick stop, drag it up with your cursor and put it two ticks below that swing low. That's your stop. Your target's going to be the first scale point, typically a lot of traders scale 8 to 12 ticks on their first push. Then they go with symmetry dots on the way up off my three Simrenko. Now, if I've taken the short side setups, it's the same thing. If I go back to 616 this morning, it's absolutely gorgeous here how this marries up. And you just got to cookie cut this every day, guys. This is not very difficult to see. Let the system work for you. Right here is your inflection point. You got below all. This gave you your transition. You started getting space right here, space away from the 8, space, space space there's your retracement it touches right on it look at my arrow right there those are your two biggest inflection points in crude this morning and they're both lined up with these three charts this is your trend chart it was below there's your arrow then it got above there's your arrow market delta confirmed both of them Market Delta confirmed this short up here also. And that's how we want to trade the system. We want to look at this trend chart to get our bias right. 
what you don't want to get involved in is arrows in this transition. You start taking buy arrows where you're in that 90% candle position against that trend, you're probably going to get stopped out. So you do not want to fight this tone. All right, you do not want to fight this right here. That is going to position yourself because they're going to try to mark the market up or they're going to try to mark the market down. It's the best way to do it. Okay? Now we're trying to get around a 50% candle right now. We'll see if the 90% candle closes and we start grinding lower for a lower high sell. These charts are how you want to position yourself. See how it never closed? We're still in a transition up. Look how the 50% candle closed here and it closed right back above it. What does that mean? Still trying to push a little higher. All right, so that's a nice little trade there on our first trade setup. This tells you on the 9 sim you can still hold a runner on the trade even though we're flattening out because we're still not transitioning to the downside yet. We had a 50% candle, 90% didn't confirm. The push is still what? Up. Hold your runner here. Look how the arrow fires off. Fires off with overall still trend development to the upside. 